everyone, and welcome to podcast nine and three quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half-Blood Princess. Today, I want to talk about the new Fantastic Beasts 3 movie, Secrets of Dumbledore, and finally explain why Jacob has a wand. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Fair warning, there will be plenty of spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen Fantastic Beasts 3 yet, you have been warned. So why does Jacob Kowalski have a wand? There have been so many theories since the trailer came out as to why Jacob Kowalski has a wand. I know for me, I wanted Jacob to be magical somehow. But we cannot trust the trailers and should wait for the actual movie to come out before we get our hopes up because it turns out the wand Kowalski is given is actually a fake. It's all part of Dumbledore's elaborate plan to confuse Grindelwald. You see, Grindelwald can look into the future, meaning that he can see any plan the team of heroes are going to carry out. But if they all have different plans, Grindelwald won't be able to work out what the real threat is. Kowalski is given a decoy wand and is essentially framed as an assassin when it appears as though he has used magic to try and kill Grindelwald. The truth is, he doesn't use magic at all, but as long as everyone believes that, then Grindelwald's path to power can open up as they get behind his war on the Muggles. But why would Dumbledore want Grindelwald's plot for dominance of the wizarding world to gain traction? Well, things need to play out that way so that Grindelwald will end up exactly where Dumbledore wants him, out in the open, revealed to be the fraud that he is. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about Jacob and his wand in Fantastic Beasts 3, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.